views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub from Empowerment Radio as he addresses some of the most prevailing challenges in our day-to-day lives. Find out how you can use the power of your mind to overcome self-sabotaging patterns and build a solid foundation of confidence and self-respect. Learn cutting-edge tools and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. This is the time to empower yourself. Now, here's your host, Dr. Friedemann Schaub. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. No matter where you're listening from and what time of the day it is there, thank you so much for tuning in to Empowerment Radio with me, your host, Dr. Friedemann Schaub. For more than 10 years, I was in the co-pilot seat with Dr. Pat, and now I decided to take the steering wheel and uh, have my own show, which I'm really, really excited about. And of course, it feels a little unfamiliar to fly solo without Dr. Pat. Self-sabotaging beliefs such as not being good enough or not being safe or not fitting in so that they could live from a greater place of purpose and fulfillment. And I wrote a book about it, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, which uh, really was about uh, sharing my insights and all the breakthrough processes that I'm usually working with uh, in my one-on-one sessions with clients with as many people as possible. Now, with Empowerment Radio, I just wanted to take this opportunity to share more tools and more insights and more solutions with all of you so that we can really start getting out of this survival pattern, out of this place of just almost feeling like life is uh, a drudge, something that uh, we cannot really wait for the day to be over and to just close the eyes and not think about it, which is what many people are experiencing. And instead, finding back the joy from within, realizing that we are the source. We have these amazing gifts and resources and these powers inside of us. We just have to remember and find ways to access them. And this is ultimately what Empowerment Radio is about. And For this, I have also invited, I will invite to almost every show, guests. And these guests are either other authors, speakers, healers, teachers, or it will be people that I have been working with that can share their journey and what they have learned along the way from that inner work and from coming uh, through the the uh, survival pattern to the other side of the thriving and creative creativity or creation pattern. But ultimately the whole thing is about helping you to understand yourself better. Because one of the things that I love about my work is that I can learn from my clients so much. They are the greatest teachers for me. And I believe that all of you listening to the show have something to teach to others, whether through your questions, whether through your stories, your thoughts, your insights. So I encourage you to really call in and use or use that chat box on the transformationtalkradio.com website and ask any questions you may have or give any comments you may have at this time simply because we are in a in a world that needs our power that needs our authentic potential because right now we are in a in a world that uh, as we can see is going through quite interesting times with a lot of divisiveness and a lot of polarities and 
And we need to be at our best to also make the best out of the times we are in. I don't know if you ever have been in workshops or listening into a radio show where someone called in and you just thought, oh, I exactly had the same question. Or maybe you were feeling that, you know, you were inspired by someone else's story and uh, you actually were taking what you learned from that story into your daily life. And this is exactly what, with Empowerment Radio, I want to achieve, that we are helping, teaching, and learning from each other. So as a special thank you for anyone who calls in and has a question or uh, wants to share something, uh, this person will receive a free CD, a free self-hypnosis CD from me. So Justin, thank you, Justin. Our producer will take down after the call your information, your mailing information, and it will be in the mail today. Now, today, you can also call in. Well, maybe I should mention that number. Yes, if you want to call in, <laughs> the call-in number is 888-418-6890. Again, 888-418-6890. Now, today, the topic is about how and why do we lose our power? Now, I have to admit, as you know, losing our power can be fairly easy. For example, today, when I thought about the show, there was a feeling of, oh, wow, I wonder who is listening, and I wonder how the show is going. It's going to be my first solo flight. Will it be fine? And and, you know, this is a moment where you can get tense, you can get stressed, you can get anxious. But then I remembered that um, one day when I talked to uh, actually a speechwriter that I met at a seminar of President Clinton, and uh, I asked him about, you know, what advice he does give people that are either giving presentations or are on the radio, and he said, don't worry about what other people think of you. Just ask yourself, how can I be of service to them? And I love that because when we really think about more what we can offer and what is actually what we want to give to the people that we are presenting to or that we are talking to, the whole pressure is gone. It's no longer a question of, looking good or the ego is saying, you know, you have to impress. It's really much more a what can I do? Now, today, the topic is about losing power. And as a nation, I think a lot of people feel right now powerless. We see this in politics. And uh, I think this is one of the reasons, as we know, why people... Uh, presidential election contenders are really jumping on to this powerlessness and the fear that comes with this. But the question is, can really a politician or a billionaire, for that matter, give you your power back? And is it really powerful to, let's say, disrespect women or people from different cultures or bully opponents or refuse to apologize? Is that really something that is demonstrating power. And how is it that we are more trusting someone who appears powerful than actually looking inside and wondering how have we lost our power and how can we get it back to ourselves? Because ultimately, the power that I'm talking about doesn't come from the stock market or doesn't come from the politicians and doesn't come from the boss at work. The power that I'm talking about, the empowered self, is the person who remembers that we are all born with sheer unlimited potential to grow and to adapt and to succeed. I mean, think about it. You know, we are like these little tiny beings coming right out of the womb and already we have a voice. We are able to learn how to walk, first to crawl, then to stand up and then take some steps forward. We are learning to communicate. We are learning to feed ourselves. All of those things are incredibly powerful. And those are the things 
that are not lost inside of us. But then let's face it, you know, you're stuck in traffic and you feel powerless. Your boss pushes some deadline on you and you feel already stressed and you feel like that uh, there is nothing you can say about it. Or your kids at home refuse to go to bed and you feel just, again, powerless and overwhelmed. So how come that we are losing our power on a daily basis? When we come back, we will talk more about why we lose our power and also, of course, how can we get it back? Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lime Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. Visit the fearandanxietysolution.com to learn more. Get into it for 2016. Do you want more prosperity, clarity, energy, and balance in your life? Join Lynn Brown now through March for one of her amazing workshops, each focusing on a key part of living your best life. For more information and to register for one of these amazing workshops, visit lynnbrownevent.com. That's lynnbrownevent.com. And get into it this 2016 with Lynn Brown. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com. Hello and welcome back to Empowerment Radio. Uh, My name is Dr. Friedman Schaub and uh, we just before the break talked about how do we actually lose our power? How do we give it away? Or do we give it away? Well, let me take you through a few examples of people that may sound in their themes and how they have lost their power familiar to you. A client of mine was always feeling on some level insecure whenever he was in a board meeting or talking to someone who appeared more successful or more accomplished than himself. 
the moment he opened the mouth in front of those people, he felt tongue-tied, uh, he felt insecure, he felt small. And he told me he just felt like a teenager, right back, and he kind of connected the dots to the time when he was 15 years old and he got bullied by these two boys in school that made fun of him, that were the popular kids, and they just uh, felt uh, better and stronger. And uh, the worst was that his best friend until then was siding with them. So that left him feel abandoned and not good enough and sad, but certainly also angry. But that feeling on some level never left. Or another client who told me that she has this weird habit of falling in love, unfortunately mostly with the wrong guys, but when she falls in love, the only thing that matters in her life is that person. She pretty much stops working and she stops working out. She doesn't really connect to her friends anymore and doesn't have any other interest in spending as much time with that person, which, of course, is ending up usually in the breakup because the relationship just becomes so focused and the person feels so smothered that usually her boyfriends are running away which then only reinforces that feeling that she had already as a child when uh, her parents divorced. Her father didn't want to see her anymore. Her mother was completely overwhelmed as a single mom. And in the end, she just felt like she didn't really matter. Now, all of those patterns are patterns that obviously make a person more prone to give the power away the power to the other people that uh, they are afraid of being judged by, the power to the people that they are seeing as the source of the feeling of love and belonging. We give our power away. We don't really have it taken away from us. We give it away to those that we are either afraid of or those that we want to somehow give us something that we deep inside seeking. And that is a survival pattern that comes from the past. It comes usually from our childhood. And see, this is a survival pattern that also is not necessarily in our conscious awareness. We don't necessarily want to feel small, or we don't necessarily want to have the one person mean everything to us. We don't want to break out in a sweat when the stock market has one of its roller coaster rides. And we don't necessarily want to feel that the job is more important than our kids. But we do it because this survival pattern is run by that deeper part of our mind, that subconscious mind. Which brings me to a question from Derek. Derek writes, I hate to admit it, but I think my son and my wife take my power. As soon as I come home after a hard day at work, they want my attention. They bombard me with questions, ask me to do stuff with them, and they don't see that I still have to answer emails from work or get ready for the next day. Sometimes I snap at them, which makes me feel terrible afterwards. Any suggestions? Well, Derek, this is a good example of you feeling that your family, your your son and your your wife are taking your power, but ultimately, who is really taking your power? Or who are you really giving to your power? Because what you're mentioning is that you feel that you need to go back and and answer emails or do some work. And isn't that what actually is occupying your mind? Isn't that what makes you just really feel in a bind, maybe feel stressed or overwhelmed. And in fact, while your family could be that what gives you a sense of joy, a sense of purpose, you are seeing the family more as the hindrance, the obstacles between you and that job that you feel like is so important to accomplish and that uh, boss probably that is so important to please. Now, the pattern that you're dealing with is most likely the survival pattern of the achiever. 
which is one of the four patterns that we can more talk about. And the achiever is basically the, the person who identifies himself with whatever goals he has set himself or she, whatever successes need to be accomplished in order to ultimately feel good enough or valuable. Now, as an achiever, you do focus more at things like work or money or something that can impress others. Then you're feeling the importance of taking care of your family. But isn't that also something where you could say, well, if I really want to tap into my power, isn't one thing that really makes this power inside of you meaningful love? Isn't actually one of the strongest powers we have, love? And when you look at your son or you look at your wife who, you know, you're lucky that she still wants to talk to you. When you look at them, isn't it something that you could also feel opens your heart? And by opening your heart and really appreciating their presence, you may actually feel that whatever you felt was so important before is just shifted a little bit aside. And what is truly important in your life, those that you love and those that you want to share your love with, that, that, that those people are coming more into the forefront of your mind. So what I suggest to you is just to see your family no longer as those that you can let your stress and your anger out, no longer as the lightning rods or the punching bags, that you don't put the gloves on already when you're driving home from work, getting ready to get upset with them, getting ready to have to yell at them but instead actually leaving work behind you. When you close the car door, just also close that chapter of the day, work. Even if you later on have to maybe answer some emails, but for now, just close that chapter, set that segment of your day, and then focus. Focus on what's ahead and really feel that there's something that gives you more than any job, any reward, any promotion can give you the love and adoration of your family. Just enjoy seeing your son playing with you and really remembering the joyfulness of a, of a child. See the, the love and the compassion and the appreciation of your wife and, and give the same back to her. Just really notice that in order to get out of the survival mode, the survival mode of feeling you have to drive yourself so hard, you have to push yourself so hard, even if you tell yourself you do it for your family. Ultimately, to get out of the survival mode, you want to focus on that, what you right now can do to make that family life more meaningful, more joyful, and more purposeful. And for that is actually, uh, it's my great pleasure to, after the break, invite someone who is an expert, especially in family matters. She is a, a coach, a parent coach, who is specializing on helping mothers to get out of this giving their power away and uh, get out of this survival mode and, and helping them to also really create more harmony, not only in the family, but within themselves. Because isn't it true that especially mothers and women are often those that give their power away as the ones that are the caretakers, as the ones that are basically responsible for the household, for the kids, these traditional roles. And on plus, many women work and uh, try to pursue a career next to those traditional roles. So women and uh, mothers are certainly in positions where they give and often overgive, and therefore also in the midst of it, lose a lot of their power, lose a lot of the connection to themselves. And this is why for women especially, and for mothers in particular, it can be such a challenge 
to to find a sense of self worth, to find a sense of joy. And many of my clients that I have been working with are struggling with that that lack of of uh, lack of joy and struggling with more anxiety and depression because of that overwhelm of those multiple roles they are playing. And so uh, it's going to be a pleasure to talk to Patricia, who uh, will share with us what she has found is helping mothers to stay in their power and reclaim their sense of self. So let's have a break, and then we're going to talk to Patricia. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com. In to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health. Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. Visit the fearandanxietysolution.com to learn more. The 24th Annual WOW Conference United We Change the World. Featured guests are Dr. Christine Page on Creative Dragon Energy. Dr. Susan Shumsky will show you how to awaken your third eye. And Mira Kelly will present a two-day intensive workshop on Beyond Past Lives. This February 11th through the 15th, go to thewowconference.org. That's the W-O-W conference.org. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey everybody, welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic disease it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lime Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic.
welcome back. Well, I have the great pleasure in a moment to introduce someone who is a specialist, a real specialist on helping mothers to reclaim their power. But before we go there, I want to just mention again the phone number to call in if you have any questions, 888-418-6890. And if you are more interested in the work I'm doing, especially the breakthrough and empowerment sessions I'm offering, just visit the fear and anxiety solution.com. It's again the fear and anxiety solution.com in one word. There you will find a lot of tools and free downloads that can already help you to shake off some of this fear and anxiety that has kept you in the survival mode and uh, find ways to empower yourself every day, one step at a time. Now, we talked about before how especially mothers are often finding themselves in a place of disempowerment and because that is such an important topic and mothers are so important in any society, I have invited a very special guest, Patricia Barras, which is a parent coach, and uh, I want to welcome her to the show. Hi, Patricia. Hi. <laughs> well, Patricia, you're calling from uh, Ohio, right? From Cleveland. Yes, from Cincinnati. Oh, Cincinnati, right. Sorry, yes. from Cincinnati, exactly. Now, I had the pleasure to also work with Patricia, who came to me at a time several years ago when you actually yourself Patricia felt quite disempowered. What were your personal experiences on feeling disempowered and feeling that you have lost your power? Yes. Um, well, at the time, I had moved to the United States after many years living in other countries, and I had left my career um, a long time ago. Uh, I was a pediatrician for many years. And when we started working together, I had just embraced a new career. And I was uh, in training and really, which is the parent coaching career. And at that time, I began feeling so many um, different feelings. I was really overwhelmed by fear um, in letting go of a previous aspect of my life, something that I had connected my identity to, um, and also um, just very afraid if I, what, what would running a business do to my family? Was that going to hurt my kids? Could I find balance or not? And it was, it was a, a, a time of a lot of struggle. There was a lot of, a huge tug of war inside of me. And that showed up not only with emotions such as anxiety and stress and, and you know, this doubt and conflict inside yourself. You also had physical symptoms, which yes. was a, a chronic pain situation you were dealing with. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I have been in pain for a long time. Since I started my training, the pain appeared And after doing every kind of treatment possible, including surgery, it was a, I had a herniated disc and sciatica, the pain going down my leg, um, even doing pain management, the pain wasn't going away. And something inside me was telling me there is a deeper reason for this pain and I need to look within. And then I found you and we healed it. <laughs> Well, never had it. it was really wonderful because uh, your intuition told you that this wasn't about anything, even though you're a doctor, this wasn't really anything you can see in an x-ray or fix in a surgery. There was something inside of you just literally causing you this pain that uh, was more emotionally rooted, um, you know, the, yes. the pain in in the back was really like almost a stabbing in the back. And, you know, you can see this metaphorically. It's uh, 
Am I stabbing uh, myself in the back? Am I stabbing my kids in the back? Am I stabbing my family in the back? I mean, all those things were certainly coming up for you. And with that also a lot that came from your own childhood experiences. Like I said before, a lot of the times when we do feel uh, that we are giving our power away, that we feel conflicted, these are things that uh, trace back to early traumas. And, and you certainly had several of those. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. And how yeah. did resolving those traumas help you? How do you feel like you were then also able to resolve your emotional and physical challenges? Hmm. Well, it's impossible to describe this in one word, <laughs> but um, <laughs> resolving them has been the biggest gift in my life. And it, I reclaimed who I am. Uh, you know, the word empowerment says a lot, right? And really uh, gaining the freedom to be me and the freedom of those beliefs that I didn't even know I had. I had no idea that there was so much fear inside. I had no idea that so many things were really holding me back and they're very powerful. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. the freedom from that has created for me the possibility to transform how I am in so many areas of my life as a mom, as a, as a friend, as a professional. Now, now, I, now I can help moms in such a more uh, broader way um, going deeper in their, in their lives. And I mean, the, the blessings keep expanding. Now, isn't it interesting? I mean, you certainly had to, because the pain forced you, you had to focus on yourself. You couldn't just say, well, I need to find a new career so that I can identify myself with something else, or I need to really be the super mom or the best wife. And you had to basically say, stop, I can't move, literally. I need to focus on myself. I mean, that is a blessing of the pain. Unfortunately, sometimes oh, a blessing yeah. in disguise. But ultimately, when we are addressing it, it can really, like in your case, help you to remember the person that you at the core really are and that just some at some point in your life you have forgotten or you had kind of pushed aside and you went into your own survival modes. Now, do you feel now all this time that you have spent on yourself and this you know this investment of of energy and focus, do you feel that you are that your family has benefited from it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, for a million years, you know, I see that um, I have my, my oldest daughter is 20. She's in college. And even in her, I've seen the transformation. I've seen her making decisions um, from a more empowered place. Um, she was already a pretty strong young woman, young woman before, but... I see her taking care of herself. I see her saying, Mom, um, I'm really looking for balance. How can I do this? Um, you know, she's going and taking yoga classes. I would never imagine that she would do that. But just mm -hmm. that, um, and I see that in my son, and my, my younger children, my little girl who's eight. She's very aware of her feelings and um She's very, she's, it's easy for her to be herself and how I see, um, I see a difference in how I parent them. I'm fully aware of, um, how a statement or how a question can either hinder their own inner freedom in deciding or can open it so that they can really find that power inside of them. Mm. So do you feel that just by you being in a different place and living by example, you also helped your children to stay more empowered and take better care of themselves? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Now the we can't, wonderful. Uh -huh. Go ahead. No, I was going to say that we can't teach or really recognize a need 
if we haven't recognized it in ourselves and or learned it ourselves, it's easier to be present in the moment with them when we know it than when we're, you know, just reacting. Absolutely. Um, even, with, even with the love that we have for them, sometimes we get in the way. Well, and that's, you know, one of the messages I think we will talk about more after the break, that love doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice yourself and basically come to the point where you have nothing to give. Love also means that you have to replenish yourself in order to have to give more. And and this is one of the things that you're teaching now mothers, which is so wonderful that you're actually giving forward and sharing and learning with so many mothers now what maybe they haven't really dared to think about or dare to believe in. And uh, the information that you are sharing with them is uh, amazing. So when we come back, we're going to talk more about this. Okay. And if you have any questions for Patricia, please call in at 888-418-6890 or use the chat box on Transformation Talk Radio, and we are happy to address them. Call the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basili is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Patshow.com for listening times in your area. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. Visit thefearandanxietysolution.com to learn more. What are vibes? We often use this word, but did you know vibes can actually be useful and help solve our everyday challenges? Embark on an exciting learning journey with Caitlin Keat, 11-time Visionary Award winner, specialist in vibrational energy, and the creator of Vibes Up. Join Caitlin as she takes you through the world of vibrational therapy and energy healing with natural solutions for a modern world. Visit VibesUp.com to learn more today. In to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health. Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Friedman Schaub at Empowerment Radio with my very special guest, Patricia Barris. 
parent coach. Patricia, what is your website? It's uh, www.mothers-empowered.com. That's fabulous. Mothers-empowered.com. Visit her website. Patricia works with mothers online via Skype, via the phone. So if you feel that uh, you need some help in taking care of yourself, but also in taking care of your kids, of your family, she's a wonderful resource and certainly something, someone that can help you to, to shift just like she did shift and uh, empower herself to be able to do all those things from a place of fulfillment and purpose. Now, Patricia, what would you say are some of the things that, just like off the bat, you are recommending to mothers to to start to empower themselves again? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say there is one simple thing and probably the most vital step to be taken. Like That's the starting point is to begin taking care of themselves. And I know that as I say this, um, whoever is listening is probably thinking, but how? <laughs> there is no time. I cannot take That's care so of myself. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. So what's your answer? <laughs> yeah. So a good, a good way is really starting with five minutes. Um, if you have five minutes in your day, ask yourself, what would you do? And whatever the answer is, go and do it. Um, take those five minutes, honor that need, and just make it a priority and start feeling the, the shift in those five minutes. Notice how you feel um, and whatever it is that really works for you. And over time, you can begin to expand to 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Um, and um, the other thing you can also do is think about a few things, have a very short list of things that are quick, that you know you absolutely love, that can bring you back to your center when you're feeling pulled. Um, an easy example is that works for me um, is just brewing a cup of coffee and sitting down and just really being present with that cup of coffee or listening to some music that I really love. Um, these are things that my clients implement in their lives, maybe breathing deeply a little bit and just recentering in the moment so that you can be present and meeting whatever needs are around you, whether at work or um, at home or especially with your kids. That's fantastic. You know, that reminds me of uh, something I read today uh, where the little things can really make a huge difference. You mentioned five minutes. Uh, I read today that Jerry Seinfeld, who, you know, is incredibly successful and uh, someone who probably will be remembered for a long, long time, that he just was asked once, what's your secret to your success? And and he said, I wrote one joke a day. That's all that I put myself into as a goal, one joke a day. And, and you would think like, how can you actually create such a huge success with just one joke a day? Well, it was enough. So when you really take five minutes a day to take care of yourself, you just make a little tiny difference, this cup of coffee, or, or maybe while you're doing some housework, listening to Empowerment Radio or other great shows in Transformation Talk Radio, all of those little pieces make a difference. There is a ripple effect that will go through your life that truly will help you to regain a sense of your power, a sense of yourself. Thank you so much, Patricia. This was wonderful. And please mention your website again. Okay. Um, my website is www.mothers-empowered.com. And it's a pleasure to have been here. Thank you. And I'm sure you will be back because this is a very important topic. And I'm very passionate about helping, especially mothers, to really come from a place of joy and purpose and and find also their self-worth from within. And uh, so thank you so much for everything that you have been sharing. 
And what I would like to do, and I will try to do this uh, at many of our shows, is just to do a little internal uh, internal work, a little uh, view inside, a little internal perspective, so that we also can already start working with that subconscious, the deeper part of the mind, which we will talk more about in, in many shows to come, that part that really is ultimately the greatest healer, but for us also often that part that can be the greatest obstacle. So for right now, I don't think that you're driving while you are uh, listening to this show. So I want you just to close your eyes and I would like you to just take a moment to take a deep breath in and allow yourself as you exhale to focus on yourself. Imagine that you can literally untie yourself from everything that you have felt was an obligation, anyone that you felt had an expectation, anyone that you feel may take your power away. Literally allow yourself to let those people, circumstances, situation float away just as if you had them as balloons holding in your hands and you open your hands and you see them simply floating away right now. And then bring your perspective, your view inside and take a moment to deeply appreciate yourself for all your contributions in everything that you do and contribute and share on a daily basis. Spend a moment to remember your goodness, your willingness to show up, your willingness to open up, your willingness to give, your willingness to love. Just remember that who you are in all the ways that you are showing up is enough. Take a moment to appreciate and be grateful for yourself and let that sensation of appreciation grow in your heart. and give you a greater sense of inner gra gravity, a greater sense of truly valuing yourself. In this way, remembering that that power of being your true authentic self is your birthright, is your birthright to have and is your sacred obligation to share in a meaningful and purposeful way with those around you. And you can just stay in this place as long as you want to. You can go back to the place of self-appreciation whenever you want to, whenever you feel somehow you lost your power, you lost your center. And I want to say goodbye from Empowerment Radio and uh, want to wish you that you have a greater awareness of those moments when you give your power away and uh, greater intention to keep yourself on the path of joy, purpose, and fulfillment. Until next time, which will be Wednesday in two weeks, and I will have on my lovely an amazing wife, author, healer, Danielle Hoffman, and we'll talk more about empowerment and how to keep your power. Until then, take good care. Goodbye. You've been listening to Empowerment Radio with Dr. Friedemann Schaub. Join Dr. Friedemann the first and third Wednesday each month at 11 a.m. Pacific, 
as he addresses some of the most prevailing challenges of our daily lives. Discover how you can use the power of your mind to overcome stress, anxiety, and overwhelm and create a solid foundation of confidence and self-esteem. Learn cutting-edge tools so that you can approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. To learn more about what Dr. Schaub can do for you, visit the Fear and Anxiety.